Hello and welcome. This is Crystal Meech with Tao of the Heart YouTube channel. And we're talking today about the deeper meaning of Kung Fu Panda 3. I also have Kung Fu Panda 1 and Kung Fu Panda 2 on my channel. Check those out if you haven't already. And let's get started. As always, your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments are appreciated. If you're interested in my coaching program and these deeper meaning movies resonate with you, please be sure to check out my coaching program. Uh, the link is in the description box below. So in the first movie, we learned to believe. And in the second movie, we learned inner peace. In the third movie, we're asking the question, who are you? And this is an age old question. You um, may see it in other movies. For example, Alice in Wonderland, when the caterpillar is asking Alice, who are you? So uh, it, it's in a lot of movies, a lot of Disney movies. Um, in this case, we're going to go through Poe's journey, which is the hero's journey. So let's get started. Kung Fu Panda came out in 2016 from DreamWorks. Um, it has the same directors, producers, and writer as the previous two films. Um, and then, so we already talked about where we're going here and let's get into it. So Ukwe is in the spirit world and all of a sudden Kai comes back after losing a battle to him 500 years ago. And he defeats Ukwe in this battle and notice the last thing that Ugwe says. He says, the more you take, the less you have. And this makes me think of, um, you know, sometimes I think it's like in the Bible where a camel has to pass through to um, a small passageway. And this is just randomly coming to me. But that camel has to let go of all the baggage on top of it to make it through that passageway. So definitely, the more you take, the less you have. It um, manifests in multiple ways. And we're going to see it here as Kai tries to take everyone's chi. So Kai goes to the mortal world after uh, defeating Ugwe, and he's looking to stop Po. And so we switch over to Po, and he says, before the battle of the fist comes the battle of the mind. Shifu tells Po that he will now teach the Furious Five. And Poe is not very good at teaching. So on the way out, he says he's not going to do it anymore because he's not good at it. And Shifu says that he doesn't even know who he is. And um, he says to Poe, do you think that the dragon warrior was about kicking, punching, defending the valley? There's a 500-year prophecy fulfilled so you could kick butt. No, Ugwe saw greatness in you. Very interesting. Incredible power like chi, the mastery of self. Who am I? I'm not trying to turn you into me. I'm trying to turn you into you. And we see Shifu take this flower and watch it bloom. So 
very interesting how we're harnessing the power of chi, of energy. Kai makes it to the mortal realm. No one knows who he is. He says he's like the Jade Slayer, the Beast of Vengeance. So apparently he has all these names that make him have a reputation. Um, and there's like a goose and a rabbit. And they they say that they've heard of Ugwe, but not Kai. And that does not help Kai's ego. So he sends his green jade zombies to find Poe. And then we come back to Poe taking a bath. He talks to Mr. Ping about teaching. And Mr. Ping is excited. And meanwhile, someone is going to beat his dumpling, his dumpling eating record. And it's Li Shen who is looking for his son, and he's a panda, which is shown here. So Poe has lost his father, and Li Shen has lost his son. And um, they realize that they were looking for each other. And Mr. Ping isn't having it. He's He is Poe's father. So he sees this other panda as an imposter. So Poe takes his new dad to the Hall of Heroes and his dad puts on a costume. Notice Poe has a million heroes and he loves relics. So Poe plays with all the relics in the Hall of Heroes with his dad. And he introduces him to the Furious Five and Master Shifu. And the valley is under attack by green kung fu masters. So Poe is able to show his dad what he does. Running around, punching and kicking and defending the valley. Is that really who Poe is? We're going to find out. And as he's fighting these jade zombies, these green zombies, he recognizes them as legends. And Kai talks through these zombies. Then they disappear. And Master Shifu has never heard of Kai. So they go to the library filled with scrolls and notice what Mr. Shifu says. He says, there's so much wisdom here. I can't find anything. And this is so interesting for me because, you know, I've spent the last five years as a hermit going through manuals, like doing all this research on esoteric knowledge and it's so easy to get lost in all these books, but none of those books compare to the true experience in the mortal world of living it, of living the lessons. So you can read all the books you want, but it doesn't compare to living it and you truly understand it and embody it when you do live it. So the story goes that Ugwe has a brother in arms named Kai. And Kai carried wounded Ugwe to an ancient village high in the mountains, an ancient place of healing, a village of pandas. And they use the power of chi to heal Ugwe which this is kind of just like doing Reiki. So, um, and in Reiki, if you've never heard of Reiki, it's a healing modality. And basically the practitioner is channeling the chi to, um, 
to you in order to heal. So you consent to the healing and then the channeling goes through them to you and then you accept the healing. So your body is actually doing the healing. It's just the channel that the practitioner is providing. So Kai saw that the power could be given and it could also be taken away. And so that goes back to in the beginning where Ugwe said, the more you take, the less you have. So Ugwe had to stop him. Kai was banished to the spirit realm and he could only be stopped by a master of chi, master of energy. Poe's dad says he can teach him to master chi. He has to go with him to learn to be a panda. So it's interesting that Mr. Ping sees Poe's dad as an imposter. And now um, Poe's dad, Li Shen, is saying that he knows chi and he knows how to master it. So that's how he gets Poe to come back to the village to meet all the other pandas. So Mr. Ping comes with, they trek to the ancient panda village, which is beautiful. Uh, Poe is in awe. The pandas run to greet Li Shen and Poe, and he is introduced as his son. He noticed that they all look like him. That's interesting because uh, when we look at the higher meaning of who am I, it's God is dwelling within us, having an experience as us. So if God is in me, God is in you. Um, and I don't know if if you use the word guide, I mean, God, you could use the word spirit. You could use the word divine. You could use the word Yahuwah or Lord or Yeshua, Jesus. So Paul learns to roll. He eats. To, he learns to eat without chopsticks. There's a lady panda that performs a ribbon dance, and Poe is having fun learning to be a panda. So a lot of this is related to going back to the inner child of a time where love was unconditional, and um. There's all this childlike wonder to the world. So he oversleeps, he plays hacky sack, he masters rolling, he has lunch, and he loves being a panda. And he thanks his dad for showing him what it feels like to be a panda. He asks, when will he learn to master chi? His dad shows him a picture of his mom, and they discuss how his dad lost him and his mom. And Poe says he doesn't have to worry about losing him again. And that's kind of interesting because in this whole conversation, Poe was always a panda. So even though he's going through the experience of learning to be a panda, he always was a panda. And even though it seems that he had lost his mom and his dad, which was part of Kung Fu Panda 2, um, he didn't really lose them, did he? They're still with him. So as Poe is enjoying the pandas and trying to master chi, um, all chaos ensues as Kai comes to 
Master Shifu's palace and or Ugwe's palace. I forget the name of the palace. But um yeah, and so Tigress is able to get away and um warn Poe that Kai is coming because Shifu and the rest of the Furious Five have fallen to Kai and he has taken their chief. So Poe doesn't have long until Kai is in the village and everyone's asking if he mastered Chi yet and he hasn't and his dad has lied. So Poe is mad. They were all unprotected. He said he lost him once again and won't lose him again. Poe says, you just did. So... <laughs> His dad is just trying to please Poe. And we'll get to that. Um, so Poe is trying to figure out how he's going to defeat Kai. And he's practicing fighting with Tigress. But Tigress knows that fighting alone is not going to stop Kai. So Mr. Ping goes to talk to Li Shin. And they both admitted to lying. And he was worried that Li Shen would steal Po from him. And he realized that's not true. Two dads mean more for Po. So again, we're going back to that original um, saying that Ugwe had in the beginning of the more you take, the less you have. So how is that manifesting here? We're seeing that with these two dads. And um, so Mr. Ping is attached to Po being his son, not Li Shen's son. But he realizes two dads mean more for Po, means more for Mr. Ping. So here we're shown how in order to have more power, you should give more power. If you take power away, it's not just you that's taking the power from yourself, you're taking it from someone else. And I show that in um, my relationship coaching with men and women, specifically, the feminist movement because in the feminist movement women are programmed to believe that they are empowering themselves by disempowering a man and that ruins their relationship and they they learn uh, just as I did in um I went through a divorce five years ago where it really helped me to understand how I was programmed to believe that I needed to do it all, that I needed to have a career, a family, um, the white picket fence house. I needed to have it all in order to, in order to um, believe that I was whole. But that whole journey was that it was my perception that was lacking. It was not me having all these things in my life. So um, this is a really big journey. Um, if you're on this, if you're watching this right now, how does this manifest in your life? And um, one of the things that Mr. Ping says is that sometimes we do the wrong things for the right reasons. Someone needed to hear that. So Poe is attached to an outcome. He has this big plan, the Wuxi finger hold on Kai. If he uses that on Kai, that's how. We're going to defeat Kai. And um, Kai can only be stopped by a master of chi, a master of energy. 
So Poe doesn't know who he is. The pandas will fight with Poe. Poe can't teach Kung Fu. He can't teach Tigress. She already knows Kung Fu. So what does he do? He teaches everyone to be exactly who they are. Because he doesn't have time to turn everyone into him. Notice in Kung Fu Panda 1, Shifu taught Po Kung Fu. So now we're kind of undoing that. So Po didn't learn how to be Shifu. He's learning how to be Po. So your real strength is in just being you. So he has a battle plan for the pandas. He's trying to get them to stop Kai until he can get close enough to Kai for the Wuxi finger hold. And um, in all this, his dad feels bad that he doesn't know how to teach him to master Chi. And um, so we flip over and Kai arrives. Kai and Poe meet up. Notice how Kai brags. The, jam the jade zombies infiltrate the village. The plan seems to be working as the pandas are using their strengths, exactly who they are, on the jade zombies. Notice how Kai is affected by the jade zombies being hit. It's almost like he's being punched. Poe's Wuxi finger hold doesn't work. It only works on mortals, and he is a spirit warrior. Kai takes him down pretty hard. Poe is in fear. He tells everyone to run. They all gather around him. He says he was wrong, and he is sorry. So, Ugwe, this is what Kai says, this is the one destined to stop me. So Poe is like here and he's got to have that moment of clarity right there before Kai is about to defeat him. And he realizes that he can use the Wuxi finger hold on himself. So he sacrifices himself and is sent to the spirit realm with Kai. So he saved us, but who is saving him is what his family and friends are saying. So let's just stop here for a second. So he realizes that he is a mortal and he goes to the spirit world. Now, this is similar to the story of Jesus. Jesus sacrificing himself um, or Yeshua. Sometimes I say Yeshua. Um, so the whole point being is who are you? Do you recognize yourself as only um, made of matter or are you made of spirit? And if you're made of spirit, like Poe, then you are not worried about going out of the mortal world to learn your lessons. And we go back to, he saved us, but who is saving him? And as he's going through this battle with Kai, Kai seems to have him again. He's in chains and his family tries to save him. Poe, you taught us who we were meant to be. He breaks the chains that bind him. And you can see their panda paws all over him as they send their chi to him. Kai asks, 
who are you? And Poe says he's been asking the same question. Who is he? Is he a son of a panda or a goose, a teacher, a kung fu warrior? He is all of them. Who is he being and who was he before in the mortal world? Remember how scared he was and how fearful he was right before Kai was about to say, you know, is this who you sent, Ugwe? Is this who you sent to stop me? And he realizes who he is. And it goes back to the beginning again, as Poe is defeating Kai. The more you take, the less you have. Poe says, you want my chi so bad? Then take it. It's too much and it destroys Kai. So all the greed, all the green um, jade zombies come back to the mortal world except Poe. And he uses um, some words. He has some words with Ugwe. And um, Poe finally became the panda he was meant to be. And he says, on the first day we met, the future of Kung Fu and the past, the panda could unite them both. So Poe is uniting the, pa the past and the future in the present moment. That's what he did. And that's, you know, that's, it seems to be a higher level um meeting than just inner peace so we start with first of all believing and then there's the inner peace harnessing that inner peace and then who are you in the present moment when you let go of the past and the future so it's telling you that all the abundance is available to you right in the moment your power is right now ugwe takes the wand and he um and he gives it to poe and poe decides to go back to the mortal realm and let's go to the next one he visits his family and friends. They thought that they lost him, but they saved him. Shifu asks Po to teach him Chi. And he teaches everyone Kung Fu and Chi. The Chi is sent throughout the world. So, bringing all three of these movies together. First, you must believe. Second, you must bring inner peace. And we're not talking about inner peace from the past or the future. Inner peace right now. And from that place of inner peace, who are you? You can harness the world. That is the master teaching of this movie and i can't wait for kung fu panda 4 because even just watching these three i'm still learning and there's more levels of consciousness as i keep watching this so thank you so much for watching um i hope that you learned some things and if you have some additional teachings Put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much and have a great day.